Hey guys, guess what? We are at Bolton Bus Interchange. If I just turn around, some bus is there. We're waiting on a bus because we're going to go into a special house. I can't say just now until we get there. Um, top secret, secret, I'm afraid. So when we get there, we will reveal all. Oh yes. Um, good journey down from Blackpool down to here. Nice scenery, 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 nice scenery routes coming down. And uh, it's not far from Manchester Bolton is. So we shall see you at the location where we're going. Good day out. We're now in Buddy. In Buddy. However you pronounce it, in Buddy. And apparently we've got away for another bus. All the joys of public transport. Hopefully it shouldn't be too long. It, it said three. They said uh, about three minutes. So hopefully it'll be coming. There's a bus coming in. Nice bus station. Okay. Hey guys, welcome. Guess what? We have made it to the destination. I'm going to cross the road and we shall show you the house that we're on about. Well, I'm on about the um, secret location, secret house can be revealed. There we go. Does anybody recognise this house? It is the former house of Fred Dibna. Yes, if you don't know, Fred Dibna was a steeplejack back in the early days. He used to go round um, climbing chimneys etc um, basically climbing up chimneys this is before the health and safety you know before health and safety he used to see him in his red um, red Land Rover with his ladders and he used to climb the chimneys um, he used to climb the chimneys and uh, with the rope and all that he used to dismantle them and he used to just blow them up like it. I bought my house off the Earl of Bradford. This character rung up from Cambridge and said, you know, we're coming up to uh, have a chat with you, you see. And Mr... just forgotten his name, but he, he liked to look at your steam engines. And I thought, ah, oh, man, then Cambridge, you see, the <clears throat> big steam men down there, you know. <laughs> and they, they would come uh, up and... I'll impress them with my steam engines and then I'll get a bit knocked off price at the house. Anyway, up they came and, you know, it happened to be raining that day so we didn't bother going to work and we had steamroller taking over in the shed and this man from Cambridge appeared to be quite impressed and said, well, how much will you give me? Well, in the, you know, for the, this here house, you see. And I wandered around showing him all the bad points so there's a nine-inch bulge on the back, you know, and it's a bloody wonder it's not all in the river, you see. Um, and a bit of time went by, and cutting a long story short, like, we, we got it for £5,000, and all this land and everything, you know, uh, and so now it's up to me to, you know, stop the bloody thing slipping into the river. Right, next one, Donald. Hmm? Don't 
fall off the... Um, yeah, so basically that's what he did, really. Yeah, it's a sign. So this is where they used to live. And this is where he used to keep his steamrollers in here. He used to keep his steamrollers, um, steam engines, and he used to drive them, if you remember that. Like, um, it's well kept, well kept clean, like, you know. Uh, we won't go down because it's private, private land. Um, but... He, you know, all this, you know, he's on YouTube, he's been on TV. If you watch the documentaries about him, um, you can watch the documentaries about him, you know, um, all the documentaries. Quite interesting, quite interesting it, it is. Um, but this is where he used to live, in his back garden and all that, and that's where he used to keep all this stuff in his garden, believe it or not. Yeah, so I, actually it's a pleasure uh, to come and see his house. I can't believe I'm here, standing right in front of D Fred Dippner's old house. Um, really lovely, really pleased. We'll have another look before we head back home. did used to have things in the ground for his um I don't know if they're still in the ground. Ah, these could be them there. I think that's a bit. So that is this house. Now you know. This is your own channel. Yes, my own channel, yes. Yeah, yeah. out and about. Out and about, I'm always out and about, yeah. This is Fred Dibner's old house here. And it's still kept in immaculate condition. You know, it's survived. And here is the bits I showed you. Um, from the outside, you know where the bolts are uh, bolt bolted in? That's up there guys, on the wall. Up there. And then this is his garden. This is this is his, where he kept his Land Rover. And this is where he kept his steam engine. Um, I'll quickly show you the workshop. Now his workshop was here, and this is like where he kept all this stuff and all that in his workshop, believe it or not. And he's still got the bits up here, which is good. It's good to see everything still here, like, you know, it's just amazing. Just perfect. Well, when you walk in here, it's, it's like he's come back in time, he's gone into time. So... That is a tour around Fred Dipter's former house. So now we know. And I just want to say thank you to the guys for letting me come round. You know, really pleased. And uh, just come and say hello to them. Okay, don't keep just come and say hello to them or something like that. Okay, don't keep. Uh, and well, that is it. say, guys, it's been a eventual day. We've been on a little adventure. We come down to Bolton, we got on a couple of buses here, there and everywhere and we finally got to Fred Dipter's house to see it. We finally get to see it after all these years. Life ambition, that's what they say. 
if you've got something to see or you know you're planning to see it, see something why not go and plan and see something you want always want to see you know always plan ahead if you want to see that thing you always wanted to see place to visit go and see it um, so that's my bucket list Uh, so, but no, it's been good, it's been good. So, we're going to head up to the dune, up to the town, we're going to get the bus up, and then, um, I think we'll be getting in Tweed, and then we're going to head back to Blackpool. Because we're leaving tomorrow, I'm afraid, guys, we're leaving tomorrow, we're going back home, back to Scotland, so... We might do a little travel vlog from Blackpool all the way up to Glasgow. That's a, that'll be something to do. Anyway, we'll um, leave it there just now and we'll speak later when we get back to Blackpool. Hey, guess what? That's us back at the Travel Lodge Hotel. Safe and sound. No troubles as well. Train was on try time, no delays. Well, good, which is good, actually. Anyway, I've just made myself a cup of tea. I need to add some milk as well. Um, just to let you know, it's been a good day. We've had a good time um, going out for a little bit of adventure to Bolton and Bury, whatever you call it as well like to see different places um we have got the, the video going up for saint chad we'll do that uh show you a little bit of footage of that with the drone um and also a big thank you to all my new subscribers i couldn't believe it my word uh you guys will be on uh the video later on maybe tomorrow or Thursday we'll see how it goes I got like loads of you know, most, loads of videos to do so you'll most probably see it Thursday or Friday we'll see how we get on I'm just about to go and edit some videos if I can open up my software I've got a mind of its own but we're going to do that uh, so that is it tomorrow we leave and we head up to Scotland, back home. So we'll most probably do a little wee bit of a vlog from Blackpool to Glasgow. So we'll do that. And we've got to change your press, and so that's what we've got to do. Anyway, we shall catch you later. I'm going to have my tea, and I'm going to do some editing or some videos. So we'll catch you in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe.